I always wanted to be a carpenter. It was just something I wanted to do. My father was a carpenter. When I was a little kid, he'd bring blocks of wood home and I would nail them together. That was then. Now when Paul wants blocks of wood, he comes to Sycamore, Illinois, where they make them the old fashioned way. I uh, had a friend that was coming out here about, well, I don't know, 25 years ago, and we would always come to this. I like the old tractors, the antiques. Northern Illinois Steam Power Club was uh, organized in 1956 by some farmers who remember the days when uh, steam engines were part of the daily life of, of farming. The club's mission is to educate about a bygone era through the preservation and display of antique heavy equipment. And uh, when I retired, a friend of mine joined the club, and so I thought I, I joined the club too. The man that is in charge of running this, he was like 10 years old when his father and uncle bought it. Well, my dad was born 1891, and my oldest uncle was born 1882. And they bought this as an old used mill in 1917 to saw the framework of a barn out for themselves, and they saw it with it clear up to about 1960. The Northern Illinois Steam Power Club bought the mill, and John has been running demos for them for 47 years. John. Uh, has a few stories, and he's a very personable guy, uh, and he's interested in passing uh, his trade as a sawyer. In our high-tech age, low-tech can fascinate the youngins. I have always loved watching the sawmill. I mean, you know, you have in your house or in your garage, you have a little saw, you know, to do your household projects, you know, cut two by fours, whatever. But watching those giant saw blades cut into those giant trees and make those really awesome boards. It's just so cool to watch. The Sawyer that runs this, he knows how to turn this block of wood around to, to square it up. They take off so much that they have a flat area. They take and they turn it over and they will make another flat area. So now they have something square to work off of after they, they squared the log up and then they pull it through. Very important on how much and when to turn it. You got to remember what, what's going on on all four sides of that, what's on the mill to be able to do this. There's a little pride in sawing good lumber. Anybody can saw block it because it's the cheapest grade of lumber there is. But when you get into sawing clear cabinet grade lumber, there's a dollar value to every pass you make. You don't make mistakes. The old story was that the sawyer could make or break the company by just how much he kept turning the log looking for the value. These days, you never frame a house with old growth hardwood. But would you frame an 18-story building with manufactured wood? In the past, every column was a tree. Every beam was a tree. We can do things much more sustainably now with engineered lumber. It's a, it's a solid wood beam, but it is not one homogeneous piece of, of wood. They're able to take smaller pieces of wood and create the, the massive beams. You can regrow wood, you can't regrow steel. Take for example, Brock Commons, which was University of British Columbia dormitory, 18 stories. It took American and Canadian forest six minutes to regrow that wood. How can we build a safe building uh, out of a, uh, a product that burns? The term mass, it's massive. It's massive sizes of the timber so you can get the strength characteristics that engineers need and you get the fire resistance due to its size. They've done tremendous amounts of testing on the product and they're able to prove statistically how the buildings handle fire. You've got that charring layer that then insulates the structural wood hidden inside. They're able to do the, the calculations and prove to the building officials that this can sustain a fire they're still gonna have their sprinkler systems in place. The Chicago Regional Council of Carpenters has embraced mass timber construction. With mass timber popping up all over North America, uh, it's important for the installer to be seen as a viable partner. So we wanted to have the training session and we invited some contractors. They need to know the process. We have our curriculum in place and we're, we're doing our first build. 